What's your name, sir? Jim. What are you, are you a Ruan guy? You always tell the Ruan guys I'm a Ruan guy. They got that look. Ruan, Ruan guy. Uh, you ever see the old man? You ever see John around? The old fella? The little bow tie walking around there. Looks like Orville Redenbacher. You ever seen him? <laughs> I've done shows for Mr. Brown, very nice guy. Two and a half feet tall, he's just big. I swear to God, they bring him in and they put him on the table and, and let him talk for a few minutes. And, and they pack him away and take him someplace else. What do you do for Ruan? Yeah. Well, oh, you're right on the ball. You know that? You're really just, you're as sharp as butter. What do you got, Kyle? Safety administrator at the Ruin, at the building, at the Ruin building. You walk around, make sure everything's safe. Just walk around, make sure shit's not happening wrong. Just walk around in the hallways, just walk around. Everything seems fine. Uh, get on the employee cafeteria there, make sure nobody's got a plastic knife and they're stabbing other people. It sounds like a pretty easy gig, the safety. Is there any bad stuff happening there that you have to worry about? What's, what's the last big issue that we had to where we had to worry they had to call you in? Never. <laughs> Pretty goddamn good job, you ask me. They don't even know you're there, do they, at all? It's just <laughs> Might as well work for C-Tech, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't know if you're gonna sit this close as shit was gonna happen. Don't look at me like we're all surprised now, all right? Talk to you. How you doing, dear? And you are? Alisa. Uh, now, uh, what, what do you do, dear? Short packaging. Short, short. Short, not short packaging. I'm there are a bunch of midgets going, I can't get this on the table. <laughs> You ever send anything to the room I'm building? You ever package stuff with safety blades on it and then all of a sudden you had to show up and there's a safety issue. Let me look at those. Razor blades. Now everybody stand back. And you are, dear? You work for the short packaging also? What do you do? Service master. That's uh, the Austin Rice. Do you still have it? The old, old friend of mine. Very nice. What do you do? Are you clean the places up? Go in there and pop the joints up? What do you do? Um, the dispatcher, you're the person that tells people where to go. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Just sit in a building all liquored up and shit and go, uh, I, mean, I, I can't read the map right now. Pull over for a while, I'll call you later. Yeah. Good job. I ask what people do for a living because I don't like my job. I've been doing this 26 years, I freaking hate it. But I have no marketable skills. I couldn't do, I couldn't do, uh, I couldn't dispatch. I don't even know how to push the thing to talk to people. I don't think I can do any kind of packaging. Pretty sure I can do your job. But, uh, anyway, other than that. <laughs> no, I, it's weird, because this summer, Paulie, the guy that owns this joint, uh, we, we hang around all the time, and, and I keep on telling him I want to get out of comedy, I hear to get out of comedy, and, and he says, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know, I, don't do, I have no marketable skills, what can I do? And I said, if I get a new job, it's gotta be similar to what I've been doing for 26 years, which means I can only work about 45 minutes a day. That's tops. That's max. I've got no attention span at all. And I gotta be able to drink on the job. I'm a raging alcoholic. Not a lot of jobs out there for a guy like me, is there? Although this summer, I thought I found one. Me and Paulie were at the Iowa State Fair. You ever been there? Fun place. Walking through the midway, see a guy uh, running the tilt a whirl. Drunker and shit. You ought to saw the guy. Just drunk. Really bad drunk. He's got the stick to the right and he's going. I don't even think the stick was hooked up to the right. I swear to God. Empty bottle of Jack Daniels by his foot. I'm looking at Paul and I'm thinking, shit, I think I can do that. I'll be that guy. That's the guy I'll be. Do that with the stick. You know what that, you know what that is? That's the, that's the carny guy. And I said, I think I'll be the carny guy. I said that until I actually saw the carny guy up close. And now I don't want that job because <laughs> apparently there's no devil plan for these guys. <laughs> I swear to Christ, he had one tooth in his.
is have one. Big two, too, because apparently when you lose the other teeth, the one will just take over. You're not a pretty tooth. You think with one tooth you can buff the sun bitch up, don't you think? How long does it take to polish one goddamn tooth? For Christ's sake, take some. Not this guy. Like a big green garage door tooth. Plus it was loose, so he was doing this. I'm right in front of him. I'm looking right. I'm, I'm not looking right at him because I'm scared of him. I'm kind of peeking looks at him to see. Because you don't want to look right at these guys because if they see you, they'll come at you. They will. Like, they bite you. They're like, uh, get a carny bite. Shit, that's, that's a tetanus shot right there. They put that in there. And all I can think is, how do you get down to one tooth? Because how many teeth you got? You got 32, don't you? And this guy, he's now, he's at one. And I'm sure he had 32 at one time, and I don't think they all blew out of his head in one day. I'm thinking every day he's going to work and his teeth are just falling like raindrops. And no one's saying shit to the guy. How do you let a guy come to work every day and you don't talk to him about his teeth falling out, for Christ's sake? Come every day. He come to work on Monday with the 32. Then Tuesday he's got like 19 teeth. And Wednesday he's got 11. God damn it, you were your safety guy. You see people's teeth falling out. You got to make a phone call or something. I know there's paperwork and shit, but goddamn, write it down. This guy's down to 16. How would you feel if you went in there one day, you're down to 8 or 19? Someone come up to you. I think someone would come up to you. Hey, Jesus, you got to try some floss or something. Don't get down to one tooth. And if you get to one tooth, you pull that son of a bitch. Pretty sure you lost the war against gingivitis. You got one fang hanging out of your pumpkin head, you goofy hillbilly. You gotta shut your mouth, quit smiling at people. You know, Venetian blinds wouldn't be bad here either. That's 